Hi guys, in this video we're going to be talking about orientation and congruence of transformations. Remember that you can pause and rewind the video as much as you need to make sure you're taking notes and following along. Before we get into orientation and congruence, I do want to remind us of our four transformations. So we have translation, which is when we slide our shape, so we move a shape without rotating or flipping it. We have reflection, we flip each point of a figure across a given line. It creates a mirror image. We have rotations. We turn a figure around a given point and a given degree. And then we have dilations so that enlarges or reduces the size of a figure. So we're going to be looking at how congruence and orientation apply to these four transformations. So starting with congruence, congruence means same size and same shape. So we're looking for everything to look the same. So if we take a look, we have these four different trapezoids. These are all exactly the same size and exactly the same shape. There's a couple different directions or maybe flipped, but that's okay. Because they are still the same size and same shape, these are all congruent. Now, if we look at these triangles right here, we have four different triangles. We have some that are big, some that are equilateral, some that are right triangles. Because they are not all the same size and same shape, these are not congruent. We want them all to look the same. So what does this actually look like when we're looking at the transformations? Well, starting with a translation, if we slide our picture, does it give us the same size and same shape as the original one? Yes, a translation just slid it. It didn't change how big it was or what the shape was. So if we look at a reflection then, so let's reflect it over our X axis. Is our smiley face still the same size and the same shape? Yes. The only thing that changed is the location. Let's look at a rotation. If we rotate our smiley face 180 degrees, did the size or the shape change? No, it's still the same size, still the same shape, just in a new location. So that one still keeps congruence. And our last one is a dilation. So if we dilate our shape, in this case, if we make it bigger, is it still the same shape? Yes. But is it still the same size? No, because the dilation is all about making it bigger or making it smaller. So that does not preserve congruence. When we're talking about orientation, orientation means the way an object is facing or pointing. So we have this trapezoid on the left-hand side. I like to think about the way it's facing as this little pointy part right here at the front. That's the front it's facing, right? If we translate it to the bottom, is our pointy part still facing the front? Yes. So it did not change the way it was facing or the way it was pointing. So the orientation stayed the same. So let's think about that though, as we look at this right-hand side one. So we have this right-hand side trapezoid. If we reflect it, is it still facing the same way? No, right? Our little pointy part right here that faces the front is now facing the back. So it's not facing or pointing the same direction. The orientation did not change, stay the same. So let's look at the four transformations to see if the orientation changes for each of them. So if we translate our smiley face, our smiley face is right side up in our original. In our new image, is our smiley face still right side up? Yes. So the orientation is preserved. It does not change. Let's look at a reflection. If we reflect our shape over the x-axis, our original smiley face 
looked right. It looked like a correct smiley face. But now we reflected it and we have this upside down smiley face. So is it facing or pointing the same direction? No, right? Because now our new image is upside down. Let's look at a rotation. If we rotate our shape 180 degrees, is our orientation the same? Is our smiley face as we started right side up, is it still right side up? No, it's now upside down. We have an upside down smiley face. So the way our object is facing or pointing did not stay the same. So the orientation was not preserved. And then our last transformation, a dilation. So if we make our shape bigger, did the orientation change? Is our smiley face still right side up? It sure is. So in this one, our orientation was preserved. It did not change. So as we go through, there are some final thoughts. So the first thing is that congruence, remember, just means same size, same shape. So a translation, a reflection, and a rotation all keep congruence. But a dilation does not because dilation is all about changing the size of your shape. Orientation is the way an object is facing or pointing. So translation keeps our orientation, it preserves it because it just slides, but a reflection and a rotation do not. A reflection flips our image and a rotation turns our image. So those two things are gonna change the way an object is facing. A dilation though, does preserve your orientation. All it's doing is making your shape bigger or smaller.